Hello and welcome to Building on a Budget Models. Today we're going to be learning how to make Tamiya's adhesive seatbelts. Now these seatbelts here were included with the Lotus Super 7 kit which was recently re-released um, with photo etch fret and as well these seatbelt parts. I think it's very likely that Tamiya will include this with more of their kits in the future, particularly race cars as these have also been included in their recent Lotus uh, Europa kit. As you can see here, this is the photo etch fret which comes with the Lotus 7. The seatbelt buckles are down there on the bottom left. Here you are. Now as you may have seen in my seatbelts video, Tamiya have also started selling these in 120 scale for their Formula 1 cars. Set F here is for 1990s cars, it comes with a Bridgestone tyre stencil as well, however um, this could probably be used with 80s or uh, 2000s cars as well. It comes with three colours and uh, you'll see on the back it also comes with uh, brand logos for um, Willens, Boss and Sabelt. I'll be using the black ones for the um, upcoming McLaren MP44, which I'll be building soon. Now, take it away, old Thomas. I started by building the two sets of lap belts for the seats. Recommends to use CA glue or super glue uh, to put these together. I used Gorilla Glue gel, which is good because it doesn't run. Put it down on this mat here because I find it stands out a lot better against the white. Yeah, it's it's very very fiddly basically. Firstly, the large round buckle in the middle is made up of four different parts, just to sort of thicken it up uh, to make it look more realistic. I did actually lose one of these circles on the other one, um, but I found that it, it didn't change the appearance of it too badly. You should be very careful if you're using these fine tweezers, as you can so easily uh, just lose one of the parts. You are given three choices of the colour of seat belts, black, blue and red, including three brands as well. But these pieces come as one full uh, sticker, which means you have to cut them out individually. The tweezers are very useful when threading them through. This is an incredibly fiddly job and patience is really required. The stickers themselves are quite low tack. Um, but they are sticky enough to keep the photo etch attached. The buckles themselves are very, very small, much smaller than I've seen on any other similar seat belts. But it's quite nice that they've given you three sets because it means that the black and the blue I will reuse in a future set. As you can see here, I used the same hull red for the seats. As some of the belts had lost a little bit of their stick, I put a little bit of CA glue on the underside of the belts just to stick them down. But I didn't do it too firmly to give them the sense of, you know, a bit of, a bit of weight to them. Both of these seat pads are identical. And if you lose one of the buckles like I did, you can just put the um, corresponding belt over the top of it and you won't notice the missing buckle. And there we are, I'm pretty happy with that. As you can see here, they're both done. And then the shoulder straps, four of them, uh, they're all identical. Here are the remaining pieces of the photo etch. So this is made out of two pieces of belt. I've just shown you uh, me making one of them here. Also you should remember when you're cutting them out to try and get as close to the red as possible otherwise, or black or blue, whichever colour you might want to use, because otherwise you'll end up with a, a white border which will look a little bit fake. Also I'm only peeling off the backing where I'm trying to thread the uh, buckles because the other places I am keeping the backing on so that it doesn't lose too much of its tack. They are a bit difficult to pick up at times. 
There we are, that's threading through the middle, and then you have to kind of fold it over. This is where the stickiness can be a little bit irritating because it can stick to itself in the wrong place. And now that that's gone through, I will then peel off the blue backing paper. There are small pinholes for the um, seat um, kind of pads to go in. Of course, as you can see here, if you wanted this to be an old fashioned road car, you could just leave it at the lap belts and then uh, and then move on. Now you can see here that the uh, shoulder pads, the shoulder straps, I should say, they just curl over the top with the um, upper buckle just on the uh, top of the seat back. Repeat this process four times to complete the seats. I left the branding off until this point because I wanted to see how it looked. You can see here it's quite easy to adjust. I decided to go with these Schroth ones, uh, which are just stickers, so they stick on really nicely, um, because I thought they looked quite old school. And there you can see all four of them. I think it's really effective. And as before, you can use a little bit of super glue if they uh, lose their stick, basically. And here you can see the leftover uh, Sabelt and Willens logos with the blue and the black belts. I think this looks good. Let me know if you will use them if you're building this kit. And here are the seat belts in the finished car. I think that these are very effective and look very realistic. They can be quite fiddly. Just be patient, stick with it. Hopefully these appear in more Tamiya sets in the future. Please comment, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon.